Hello everyone, this is Gamer Trim, and today we're going to be going over Tinker's Construct and how to make tools and weapons. Today we'll be making the cleaver. First off, you need yourself a stencil table. Inside a stencil table, you'll place some blank patterns. Using the patterns on the side, it'll allow you to craft what you like, and then you place it into the pattern chest. Now the pattern chest is right here. If you put them right next to each other, it'll allow you to store them directly from the table into the chest. Next up, you're going to want a part builder. The part builder will allow you to use those patterns that you just put into the chest to make other items. Now, this doesn't work for any material. It only works for the basic materials, like wood or stone or something along those lines. But that is how you will create things like a hammerhead. Next up, you're going to want your part chest. This is where you put any kind of scraps or shards, or maybe you don't want to use that quite yet, so you're going to put the hammerhead in there. Next up, you have the tool station. This is where you're going to go ahead and make the simpler tools. Things like your pickaxe, your shovel, your hatchet, your mattock, your comma, your broadsword, your longsword, your rapier, your frying pan, your battle sign, because apparently you can fight with signs, short bow, or arrows, and those you can customize as well. Finally, you're going to want a tool forge. Now this one's going to come a little bit later, it will be a little more difficult for you to make. It's not going to be right at the start of the game, but you will need this to make the bigger tools like the hammer, the excavator, the lumber axe, and we'll go over what these items do here in a short bit as well. Since we are going to be making that cleaver, let's go ahead and look inside the tool forge. Here's the cleaver here. It says you need a tough tool rod, a large sword blade, a large plate, and another tough tool rod. So that's two of those. You'll see once you make them, you place them in here, and it'll pop out right there. So what we've decided to do today, we're gonna make the blade out of manulin. Now, we already have this pre-smelted inside of our smeltery. As you see in my first video, it shows you how to put this together, nice and simple. We're also gonna go and smelt down some aluminum and copper so we can show you how to make the casts, because you will need the casts. Let's come back over here and grab that hammerhead. Place it in our inventory. Come right on over here, and you'll place that on top of the casting table. Go back into your smeltery, look for... where is it at? You can use clay, however clay is a one-time use item. If you make the cast out of clay. You can only use it once and then the clay is destroyed. But if you make it out of the heavier material, being your molten aluminum brass, they will be permanent casts and you can keep them and reuse them as many times as you like. Take that off of there. Put that in there. Now we need that sword blade pattern. There we go. Go ahead and place that down here. Put that in here. And now we're going to want to make that out of manulin. So let's go ahead and put, go back through here. There's our manulin there. We have enough smelted to make one. Right click on this little guy here, the faucet. It'll pour out into your casting table, into your cast. You'll see that it slowly fills up. And then the progress there is as it is cooling. It'll allow it to cool. So we'll go ahead and wait a moment here for that to cool. Another thing we're going to want, let's go ahead and get that large plate cast. Now, since we have two of these casting tables, we can go ahead and do this. Now, for the large plate, we're going to go with Invar, and I'll show you why in a little bit once we get that. There's some Invar there. Go ahead and right click on that. And now we'll go ahead and start doing the same thing as we did with the large plate pattern. Now that is finished. Let's go ahead and pull that off of there. Put that back in there. Now we need the tough tool rod, which is right here. Now the tough tool rod, we're going to go ahead and use osmium. And again, I'll show you later why we choose that. Right click in there, you'll see it start filling up again. And the plate is almost done, but that one takes a little bit longer. Invar takes a while to cool down. But you can see the osmium cools down really quick. There we go. 
We're going to make a second one since we needed two of them. And that's almost done there. And there we go. Hey, look, our plate finished at the same time. So now we have our four items we needed. We'll come over here to our tool forge. Go ahead and find the pattern there, which is the cleaver. Place the manulin blade in that slot. Both of those into the tough tool rod slots and then get your plate and put it in there as well. Now you'll see it'll pop out and it'll also tell you what it gives you as you make it. You'll see the attack will be 15.3, durability is 1890. It'll give you three modifiers to add to it at the beginning versus non overall to get plus two because of some items we used. Dents your tool lasts longer when it has less durability. Now, if you look at this right here. You'll see that gives you Devil Strength and Magnetic. So it's not from that one. If you look Manulin, that gives you Insatiable. Well, it's not that one. But the Osmium gives you Dense and Well Established. And we'll go over why we chose that right now. The Dense, your tool lasts longer when it has less durability. So as you start breaking it more and more and more, it'll get tougher and tougher and tougher. So you don't quite go through that durability as quickly. Now, Well Established is really good. You gain additional XP. You always want your XP. You want to build it up as much as you can so you can use it for whatever you feel like doing. So that's why we made two of these out of Osmium, because that gives us the dense and the well established each, and we get two levels of each because we're using two of them. Now, the Insatiable is coming from our Manion Large Sword Blade. During combat, you deal more and more damage, but also consume more and more durability. Now, that dense will help counter that insatiable. So you do more damage the more you attack, but you use more durability, and the dense kind of helps you hold that back a little bit from damage your weapon too much. Now, the Evar Plate. That gives you Devil Strength and Magnetic. Devil Strength. Bonus damage to non-overruled mobs. That means if you're in the nether, it's going to do extra damage to those nether mobs. You do more damage, which means to kill them fast, which means you'll live longer. Magnetic. Hitting things attracts nearby things. That means it's kind of like a looting item. As you hit something, the items are kind of attracted to you and naturally come towards you as you're striking things so you can pick them up nice and easy. So that's why we went with the Invar. Now you see this Beheading 2 on here. This comes from the Cleaver itself. That is your basic ability with the Cleaver. You'll need mob heads as you go further into the game they're used for a variety of different reasons, so behaving is always good to have. Now, let's go and finish trading this. Boom, there we go. Go and put that into our inventory. Go back up to the anvil here. And this is where we repair and modify. Now, we'll place that in the center there. And you have your Manulin Invar Cleaver. XP, 0 out of 300. Level is clumsy. You'll see the one I have down here is comfortable. I mean, I've used it a fair amount to attack with and build up the level of it. Now let's go ahead and add some modifiers here. You always want looting. Always. So if you toss this on here, you'll see that, if I scroll down here, you see 9 out of 60 luck. That luck, you'll see it on there is 3. We're going to put our main one on here again. Luck 3, you're getting all the nice things, and a lot of them. That's why we want that on there. If you're going to be making a nice big fancy sword, you want to make sure it's going to get you all the goodies. And you notice that gives you nine. Now, if you use blocks, that'll fill it up as much as it can. Nine times six is 54. It means it's going to use six blocks. So let's go ahead and use that. And we can fill the rest up with these guys. And that'll bump us up to the next level there as well. Now, we need to add more to it. We can put haste on there if we like, to make it swing faster, since it is a slow weapon. However, we don't really want haste right now, and it's not going to be our weapon, so we'll leave that up to whoever is going to be using it. Which, in this case, is going to be someone on the server named Stamp Stamp. We're making this for her in exchange for food. And you'll see this nether quartz here. Place the nether quartz inside of here. Our attack just went up. Let's go ahead and scroll down and see what that does. Sharp. So sharp it hurts to look at. Now here's something interesting. You'll see it's 64 out of 72. 
well, max stack is 64. But if you grab a second one and place it in here, it allows you to fill that up. So now she has a heavier hitting weapon. So we're going to go ahead and deliver this to her and get some food from her. But this is how you make tools, how you modify them, and if we needed to repair them, since this is a manulin ink bar cleaver, you would have to grab a manulin ingot, place it in there, and repair it with that. Now there's also something else we can use, which I will show you real quick. Over here we have something set up. This is another Tinker's Construct modifier. Obsidian around the edges with a cast in the center. Doesn't matter what cast you use, it can be any cast. We go ahead and grab that out of there. You see that's a reinforcement. Now what this does, which is very helpful, if we add it to here, reinforced 20%. Well what does that mean? Let's scroll down. Reinforced. Each level adds a 20% chance to not use durability, which means if you level up your sword enough and add five of these total, it becomes unbreakable, which is fantastic. Because that means you don't have to repair it anymore. Now this is an expensive thing to make, but it is well worth it in the long run. What I can do right now is show you this hammer that I have. Now this is a Cobalt Osmium Invar Hammer. They get very fancy with the names apparently. Now you'll see it has momentum, it's well established, double strength, magnetic, it has a whole bunch of goodies on there, right? Well, let's show you what this hammer does. We also have the excavator. We also have the axe, the lumber axe. So we're going to go ahead and show you what these do real quick. So let's go ahead and take this hammer right over here. And look at this. It does a 3x3 three three pattern. Boom! That increases your speed quite quickly. And there's my luggage picking up all my goodies for me so I don't have to store it myself. Now. The excavator. You do that with dirt now. That makes it so much quicker when you're trying to do mass amounts at a time. And what is a lumber axe? Is that 3x3 three three too? Well, let's see. There's a tree right here. Let's hit the bottom one. And nope, that goes all to the top and chops the entire tree down for us. Hammerhead. Now, you'll see it pops up all the different hammerheads you can use, all the different abilities and buffs and modifiers. Momentum, that's what I have with the Cobalt one. Stonebound, Insatiable, Well Established. You'll see we had some of these on some of our other weapons as well. So this is going to be all throughout. You can look at all the different goodies it does if you hold down Shift. If you let go of Shift, it just goes back to your basic stats. Hold down Shift gives you all the special stuff. This is how you will get into Tinker's Construct and how you'll really learn to make those fancy tools that do all the good things for you. Again, I hope this helps you out. I hope it helps you choose what items to make, what tools to make, and how to make your Minecraft experience just a little bit better. This is Gamer Tramp signing off. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and again, like and subscribe down to the bottom there if this video has helped you in any way, or you want to see more. And go ahead and let me know in the comments if you want to see more and what you would like to see of the videos. I do all the mods. We're going through a nice long pack here, so there'll be lots to do. Anyway, signing out. Y'all have a wonderful day.